Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're going to create 3D text. It's very simple. For those of you who are looking to save time and produce high-end professional results, go ahead and check out Video Hive for over 15,000 logo and title templates that are pre-made and ready to go. All the previews you're seeing right now are available on Video Hive for download. Go ahead and check out my links in the description below to check out some of the templates you are seeing right now. And of course, any purchases that you do make does help support this channel and allows me to continue to make these videos. So let's jump in this video and learn how to do this. So we already have a composition here just with a background, nothing major. Let's grab the text title tool. And the first thing is first, you want to type out your text or you want to import your logo. So I'll just come here and type out some text. We'll call it Sunduck. And we can go up to Window Align. And the line tab should be over here and we can center this up so it's right in the middle of our composition and then once this is done go up to layer pre-compose and let's call this one placeholder so in the future if we want to change out the text or we want to import a logo or if you're doing a logo you want to import text you can easily change it out anytime in the future after you have finished creating the 3d logo or text now so now that we're done here we want to create a bevel or a stroke so with our placeholder selected go up to layer layer styles and let's add stroke. And let's open up the stroke down here. And let's go ahead and bring the time up, timeline up by a little bit. And go to color. And we can set this to white if you want. And we, you can increase the size. So I'll go to like five or six there. And that looks good. Let's go ahead and let's pre-compose this layer again. And we can call this one placeholder final. And move all attributes into new composition. Click OK. So now we want to start making this look 3D and it's very easy. So it makes this a 3D layer. If you don't see the 3D layer icon, toggle switch into modes until you see it. And hit P on your keyboard for position and duplicate this layer. Let's go back to the bottom layer and we can set this to 0 0.5. And you're probably thinking, well, nothing is happening. Well, let's go ahead and go to layer new camera and let's click OK. And let's grab the camera orbit tool here at the top. You have to click and drag it and you, you can turn this into 3D space like this. So we still can't see any 3D in here, but we're going to go ahead and create that now. And you're going to be able to see it much better in this view. So what we want to do is grab both our layers here, go up to edit, duplicate, and you can bring it to the bottom. Make sure you do that. It's very important. Then you hit P on your keyboard. And this part is very important. You need to keep track of the actual you know position here so if we're at uh, 0.5 here we know this next number the top number here needs to be at a one so go ahead and just drag both these layers to one and that's 1.5 right so now we can grab both these layers again duplicate them hit p on your keyboard for position and our last number is at 1.5 so we need this top number to be at two and you see how they all update and we're going to go through all this duplicate all the layers here and make sure you bring them to the bottom and we'll hit P on our keyboard and see this is 3.5 this number needs to be at 4 and we can close these up duplicate it again bring it to the bottom and we'll hit P again and this last number is 7.5 so this needs to be 8 you pretty much get what I'm saying here and we zoom out here it should be you see you're starting to look a little bit 3D in here and we're going to continue through this until maybe we have about 50 to 60 layers so I'll just duplicate these one more time and we'll call it a day all right so now we have 3d text in here and we go to our camera tool we grab the orbit camera icon here and we rotate this you'll see that we actually do have real 3d text in here by duplications now this might slow down your computer by a little bit you might need to change the quality to speed it up by a touch but this is basically true 3d text at this moment in time and it looks really cool and we're going to you know, even enhance it. So you can even bevel this out more by just creating more duplicates. Okay, so we still have a little bit of work to do here because this is kind of boring. It's just not great 3D text. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit more professional. What we're going to do is grab the top placeholder. This has like no, you know, positioning on it. Duplicate that. And we're going to pre-compose the top layer here and we're going to call it texture. Click OK. And make sure it's the 3D layer. So it corresponds to what it needs to be. So we can go into the texture comp here and we can turn this off. And we can add like a texture or whatever we want to do. So, so I'm going to grab, I'm going to import a quick texture in here just to show you how this is going to work. So we can bring a texture into After Effects. We can bring it into our comp here. Make sure to duplicate your placeholder again and toggle switch to the modes until you see the track mat and set the bottom track mat for the texture to alpha mat. And go to the top placeholder here and go to blend mode and set it to screen. So now we go back to our main composition. We have somewhat of a texture here and you can you know go in here and color correct this and you make it the way that you want that's a one way to do it 
so let's say we don't want to use a texture at all, but we want to use like a reflection. What we can do is go up to layer new solid and we can call it reflection and make sure it's underneath your placeholder here and make sure to set this to alpha matte as well. And here we go to effect generate gradient ramp and we can put the ender ramp maybe over here and the start ramp over here. And we can probably bring out the ender ramp even more. Yeah, make sure this is on the alpha mat underneath the bottom placeholder there. And you don't need the texture if you want to do this. And we'll go to end of color. And we'll make this a little bit more light gray. Click OK. And then we'll hit PR and keyboard for position. And we will offset the solid layer like this. And we can add a keyframe for position. Move forward to maybe the end of our animation at five seconds. And we're going to have this come across like this. And this will give us a nice reflection on our text here. All right. And now we have our reflection in here. And we go back to our main comp and boom. So now let's go ahead and continue to work on this a little bit. So, so now what I want to do is create a background shadow here. So what we can do is grab, say, the bottom placeholder here. We can duplicate it and go to the bottom layer here and rename it to shadow. And go to effect perspective drop shadow. And you can keep this all at the same settings here at first. We'll come here. We'll duplicate it. Go to the bottom here. We'll increase the... We'll increase the softness and we can increase the opacity if we want and we'll duplicate the layer here down here once more go to the bottom we can increase the softness by even more and we can keep the opacity about the same and we'll duplicate it again go to the bottom and we'll really increase the softness this time increase the opacity if you like and we'll do it once more go to the bottom and we'll really increase it to maybe like 400 for the softness. And we'll lower the opacity on this one to maybe like 20%. So now we have a nice shadow in here. We'll grab all these shadow layers. We could pre-compose them, call it shadow. And make sure it's set to a 3D layer. And now we can grab all of our placeholders. Here's our placeholder finals. We'll pre-compose these and call it bevel. And we'll make that a 3D layer. Go ahead and zoom out here. And here's the problem with this. If we grab our camera tool, you can see it's not 3D anymore. So what you got to do is this little rasterizing icon here. You need to make sure this is turned on for pretty much everything. And now it's going to go back to your 3D bevel like that. And that looks cool. So now we want to you know, texturize the bevel a little bit. So what we can do is grab the bevel, go to effect, generate gradient ramp. And you can start playing with the colors a little bit. And actually, we probably won't make the texture a rasterizing icon there so we can keep that reflection nicely in there and go to the bevel here make sure the gradient ramp is here and what we can do is lower the start ramp and increase the end ramp or sorry decrease it and now we'll have a little bit more control over the actual texture here so we can go here to the end of color we can make this a little bit darker if you want come here to the start of color you can brighten up or, you know, whatever, change the color of it if you really want. So you can really start, you know, manipulating this a little bit. And basically here we have our 3D text ready to go. And it looks really cool. We can start stylizing our background by a little bit. So now we can use like the camera here to animate this. So we can go to the transform and we can add a keyframe for point of interest and position. Say we want to say we want this to be like our last keyframes. We can move this over to the end to make five seconds and I'll come in here and I'll grab the track Z camera tool. We can zoom in on our text by a little bit. Maybe grab the orbit tool. Maybe we'll just get a better perspective like this. You know, and then you can always zoom out by moving forward here in the timeline. And you know, now we have our nice 3D text ready to go. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to bring in say like a logo, we can go back into our main composition, the placeholder, and we can bring in a logo turn off our text, go back to the main comp here, and boom, there is our 3D logo. It's really big, so you still might want to go in here and size this down. And color is definitely a big portion of this effect of trying to make this work correctly. So we go to effect, generate, fill. You can always change the color of pretty much any logo you want. Um, click OK. Go back to our main and we pretty much have that same exact style as before so that's basically how you can do this effect in a nutshell it's a very simple clean way to do this okay so this is our 3d text and you can animate it in any way that you would like 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and were able to take away several techniques from this and create your own 3D text or logos from this video. And be sure to check out videohive.net for royalty free templates with over 10,000 logo animations and titles available on videohive.net. Go ahead and check our links in the description to get some inspiration on 3D titles and logos and also they can help you save a ton of time if you're in that time crunch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creative.